everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, it's time to get our supper ready for uh, the evenings where Blake gets home. We can have our dinner. We're going to have uh, tenderized pork chops, mashed potatoes, and gravy. And we're having corn for supper. And I'm going to doctor this corn up so that I can get my picky eaters to eat it. And um, as you can tell, I got a little stick tight with me here today. And he won't let me... He won't let me put him down, so if you guys will uh, bear with me, I'm going to use the electric skillet here uh, to do this, and uh, we'll get this together. Now, I am doubling my recipe, but I'm going to give you the, the ingredient amounts for a single batch. Also, I'm using canned corn. This recipe calls for frozen, but I don't have any frozen corn right now, so I'm going to use what I have. And thank you, baby. I'm going to use what I have for my family. Uh, in my pantry and so we'll get started and the very first thing that you're going to need is two tablespoons of butter remember I'm doubling my recipe so it's going to be more and we're going to need two tablespoons of honey You're going to let these things uh, melt together. And this is a local honey for us. Uh, just wasn't that long ago that we didn't have any uh, local honey suppliers, but we have since had some that have gotten started, and we're glad uh, for that. Uh, Blade is wanting to uh, consider getting hives himself but he hasn't done that yet and y'all know that Howie uh, was allergic and so he was ended up not being able to have bees but Blade wants to give it a try if he can talk Cheyenne into it I don't know if he's going to be able to do that or not now you can see that this all begins to melt together and uh, we're not going to do anything else to it uh, until this melts the butter and the honey and when it all gets together we're going to add in uh, our corn now I'm using the canned corn so I have drained it you don't want to add the liquid drain your corn you can see that the butter melts your skillet's good and hot it doesn't take that long to uh, come together I'm going to go ahead and add my corn. So it'll be 16 ounces of corn that you're going to add. And you're just going to mix it all together. And we're going to let this cook for about five minutes. To, it sounded hokey, didn't it? We're going to let this cook for about five minutes and get all mixed together and get that honey and butter coated on that corn. And then we'll come back and add our uh, next few ingredients. In. Now that the honey and the butter has cooked uh, in with the corn, uh, we can salt it, and I'm probably putting about a te te teaspoon of salt. You, it calls for pepper, too, but I don't really like pepper on my corn. Um, but if you do, you are welcome to it. And the last thing that it calls for is two ounces of cream cheese. Now, you're going to see me put more in it, because remember, I'm doubling my recipe. And then you're just going to cook this all together and uh, keep stirring it until that cream cheese gets incorporated in there. And this uh, this is be a little bit of a process. You could even make your cu cubes, your pieces of cream cheese a little bit smaller than what I did if you want to.
turn it off? everybody having for supper tonight? I told you we're having tenderized pork chops, mashed potatoes and gravy and corn. Maybe you guys have a, a good supper idea as well. Okay, we're just going to let this set and cook for a little bit and we'll come back when it's close to being done and we'll show you what it looks like. and um, ready to eat and so just as soon as the pork chops and the mashed potatoes and gravy are ready um, and Blake gets home from work we will be ready to sit down and have our dinner. This time guys this is Josie. I love you. I really do. Keep looking a lot to the ways of your household and finding recipes to stretch your budget and get those picky eaters to eat their vegetables. Till next time we're done.